Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, yes. Senator Durbin. Uh, he's right. I uh, thank the uh, people of the state of California for the tremendous honor. Uh, but it is also no coincidence uh, because uh, no state has more at stake in immigration policy than the state of California, given the size and diversity of our population and our economy. It is nothing other than a, uh, not so much of a microcosm, uh, but a reflection of how important it is for the nation as a whole. And so I want to start by uh, thanking Senator Durbin for his leadership and all of our colleagues who may not be standing here right now, but are allies in this fight. Uh, and of course, United We Dream, Forward.us, and to all the dreamers and advocates that are here today who have been here week after week, month after month, year after year, because now is the time to get this done. So, so I stand with all of you and Senator Durbin because we have the absolute urgency. Senator Catherine Cortez Mesto, everybody. Also re-elected to a full six-year term in Nevada. We're here because this is a crucial moment. We face the urgency of a running clock because of litigation. We also face the threat of a running clock because the House is on the verge of falling into Republican majority hands. Come January, it's going to be extremely difficult to get through common sense, humane immigration reform, including protection for DACA participants and all dreamers. And so the time to act is now. Dreamers deserve nothing less. It is not right that they live year after year in limbo, in fear of deportation, after all they've done to make our nation greater. The United States is home to dreamers. Dreamers who work in a number of critical and essential industries, whether it's in healthcare, whether it's as teachers, and nurses, caregivers, doctors, farm workers, other essential workers. Dreamers are entrepreneurs. And collectively, as consumers, they contribute millions to our economy. Our nation is greater because of their contributions, and it is absolutely wrong to deny them access to the American dream. And so we must act. We must act now. We're calling on 10 of our Republican colleagues to have the courage to do publicly vote consistent with what they tell us behind closed doors. Now, briefly, in, in Spanish, if I may, estamos aquí con la urgencia de proteger a nuestros dreamers. Por mucho tiempo, hemos visto la a política partidista que ha impedido pasar una reforma migratoria. Ya basta. Los dreamers merecen mejor. Dreamers que conocen a este país como el único país que, que, en que han vivido y que trabajan día tras día en varios sectores tan esenciales. Las contribuciones de tantos que fortalece no solo el país, pero nuestra economía, merece mejor que vivir en el constante riesgo de deportación. Merece mejor, merece las protecciones permanentes para vivir el sueño americano por cual han luchado tanto. Y el tiempo es ya, porque sabemos el tiempo límite de uh, lo, los casos en las cortes y estamos al punto de ver un cambio de la mayoría de la Cámara de Representantes no sé si será posible o qué tan fácil será uh, después de este enero. Así es que ahorita es el tiempo de lograr este progreso, de por fin entregar justicia para dreamers y participantes de DACA. Muchísimas gracias. And if, and if I can have the honor, and if I now have the honor to introduce another one of our colleagues, I mentioned she was recently elected to a full six-year term in Nevada because Nevada supports immigrants, Nevada supports dreamers, and we're glad to have back in this fight another one of our champions, Senator Catherine Cortez Master. Yeah. 